Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenna G. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. We're exploring more veggie options. So this time I'm going to be using some curry and we're going to be mixing some pasta in it. We're going to be making a curry pasta dish. To be exact, it's going to be a curry chana and bygan fettuccine or curry chickpeas and eggplant fettuccine. So like I said, we are exploring some veggie options for you guys. I know many of you like your curry, you love your curry, and you guys also love pasta. So why not incorporate them, make one dish, curry pasta. It might sound a little intimidating, but trust me, it's going to be delicious. So let's jump into this really quick demonstration on how we're going to be making this simple but delightful dish. So these are all the ingredients that we will need for this curry pasta dish. I've already got my eggplant or bygone peeled and cut into pieces. I'm going to also be using some onion, garlic, pepper and curry leaves. Green seasoning is a must in curry dishes of course and salt. We're going to be using some roasted jira and I am going to be using some canned chickpeas or chana in this one. If you want to use the dry one, go right ahead. Just remember to soak it and then boil it before. I'm also going to be using some hot hot curry to start off i am going to put the pasta to boil you can use any pasta that you want if you have linguine or spaghetti or any other pasta and i'm going to be boiling it with just a pinch of some salt while that's boiling we're going to work on the curry so to some heated oil i am going to saute onion the onions the garlic the hot pepper and those curry leaves going in there gonna cook this for just about two three minutes or so and then in goes the curry powder the next step would just be to so to toast this curry powder to help release those flavors it's going to take about two to three minutes you can add some water just in case it begins to stick or burn or just in case your heat is too high and then I'm going to add a little more water after about two to three minutes and when it you form that curry paste in goes those eggplant pieces Mix it all up, get those pieces coated nicely with that curry paste. Next, I'm going to be adding the coconut powder and the water is going to go in there as well. I'm just going to cook this until those eggplant pieces get a little tender and begins to almost melt through in the pot going to add my salt to taste of course you can adjust this later on I'm going to let it continue cooking and once it gets nice and tender and just about starting to melt I'm going to add the canned chickpeas or the chana to it so because it's canned it not, will not require much cook time I'm also going to be adding the green seasoning and a pinch of that roasted jira Give that a quick stir and all I'm going to be doing is just leaving this. Let this cook until that eggplant or the eggplant pieces are nicely melted. The sauce has started to thicken up. Then in goes the boiled fettuccine. I'm just going to stir this up, mix this up nicely. Make sure that it gets coated with that curry. And I'm actually going to just turn off the heat. Just leave it, let it soak in that curry for a little while. And this is what it's going to look like once it has cooled down. So it has soaked up some of that nice curry sauce. And of course, you can adjust the sauce as according to however you like it. And this is our finished curry pasta dish, guys. So I'm sure you guys' mouth must be watching after looking at that. If you love your curry, you will want to for sure experiment with this curry pasta dish. Believe me, it's absolutely yummy. If husband who isn't really a curry lover actually enjoyed it and wanted more, you all need to try it for sure. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Try it out. Just remember the eggplant or the bygone that I used was just something extra, but it went along so nicely with it. So remember, you can use any vegetable you like in it. Remember, it's just having fun with all these veggie dishes, using whatever you could find in your fridge, like what I did with that eggplant, and it turned out fabulous. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about it. Let me know if you guys 
will try it out and when you do try it out of course don't forget to send those pictures thanks as always for watching be sure to check out all the other vegetarian options that i have made videos on so far i'll link them all down below in the description box thanks as always for watching guys i will see you all in my next video